Welcome back, guys. Stop Talk and Roll, episode 85. Uh, this is the show where we review jujitsu rounds, break down some technique, learn some conceptual stuff, improve our jujitsu, both by uh, getting some feedback and also just learning and getting to watch some new rounds. Um, today, they're not on screen, and by they, I mean me. This is weird. I'm in the round uh, with Mike. Um, so, yeah, if you happen to enjoy the the show today if you like what you're watching please consider dropping a like subscribing to the channel ringing that notification bell i get these episodes out every morning 8 a.m eastern standard time monday through saturday um, and if you'd like me to review one of your rounds just please check out the description below of how to get in touch with me as i've been saying if this is your first time here um, i am currently out of the country for about another two weeks or 10 days at this point um, so if I don't get back to you right away, I'll get it back to you by the end of July. And I, I am interested in, in checking out your round. So, uh, if you can't tell I'm on bottom and Mike's on top here. Um, uh, I'm currently joking with Mike because I'm not joking with Mike. Um, a few weeks ago or maybe like a month or two ago now, he basically got this grip and proceeded to use it to tap me out eventually. Um, it was kind of crazy. Uh, there's shout out to um, Adonis and Shireas up up in Norwalk. I know I don't know if you guys are still training up there, but they um, they play a very similar game where they take their your hand and like chicken wing it essentially from like all different positions. It's very difficult to deal with. I was not expecting it and wasn't I wasn't respecting it. I wasn't expecting it or respecting it. And Mike just jacked me up with it. So I'm like I know what you're doing. <laughs> I'm not letting you get that hand, and and I'm keeping it. Uh, I'm, I'm getting ready to break that grip, but I'm also keeping it like really close to the ground right now because I don't want him to start manipulating it under my body. So I'm keep kicking him up and putting weight over there. So he can't, he can't start using it. Like I'm, I'm very deliberately getting that hand back. All right. And then I'm able to, now I'm proceeding. So literally I'm, I'm respecting it so much that I'm doing nothing my sole goal is I'm not trying to sweep him. I'm because if I sweep him, this hand comes off the floor. Like I literally don't want him to have any control of this arm. So I'm while he's pinning it to the floor, I'm actually like, okay, that's cool. I'm keeping it pinned to the floor. I tried for a second to see if I can lift him and break the grip, but the grip break is down to the floor in this way. And I just simply can't do it. So I have to have the other arm come to the rescue, which is what I do here. Um, he goes to staple my arm. And I'm, I'm using my legs to keep them off of me. I make a connection. And then from here, I'm able to slide my hand this way, which is the way, is the only way it's going to come out. So I pry his hand off. Okay. I fight and get this hand back. And now I have two on one on him. I'm looking for an arm drag, but I'm not going to get it. And it's clear I'm not going to get it because my legs are crossed. So I'll lift a little bit and use it to start climbing the back. Hit a modified hook sweep. Well, it's a hook sweep, but just with a different grip. Um, guys, this is like my go-to initial pass, which is just a simply, uh, I think it's just like a Toriendo. I always mix it up with like a Toriendo and something else, but basically come around and I'm trying to beat the hip. So as long as I get something in front of the hip and, and, uh, I'm in, I'm in a good place. And the whole point is to deny the elbow knee connection. So immediately I'm coming in and occupying that space so he can't get to it. I don't go to Mount right. Mm, did I go to Mount? Okay. I'm in. Am I in mount? No, I'm in three quarters mount. I, I don't mind three quarters mount. Um, I'm using this. Okay. Again, look at where the grip break is. Okay. I could be here at stubborn and try to keep pushing my hand this way, but that's not going to happen. So we get here and <clears throat> okay. I'm tr I'm thinking about coming uh, as actually, I remember what I was thinking. I was thinking about trying to slide back a little bit and get my arm, my less so my bicep right behind my head and put my fist into the floor right here to put him into a, Nelson, a full Nelson or half Nelson. Um, but he was he was trying to hoist me up into uh, a deep half position. So I was like, this is not going to be good. So I figured he know if I bring this hand any more this way, he's going to roll me over. So I need to keep this hand for here for a football. I need to keep my elbow here for a post. So I just try to beat him to it. There's he, I cannot get my hand going this way, 
but I can bring it back. So I bring it, these pockets are so annoying. I got to sew those. Um, I bring it back. So watch, it goes back through the hand. He comes to follow. I'm pummeling it to the inside and making a second base with it in case he tries to bump and roll me. Okay, so now I have my elbow posted here to defend if he takes me this way, or tries to anyways. Okay, was looking for elbow control, but not happening right now. So I'm content with slowly working my legs up now. So base, I'm using hands for base, heavy in the front, and my legs are light. So I'm looking to, as soon as I feel there's no, nothing stopping my knee from coming up, I slide my knee up, feet into the hips. Okay, now he does get under my arm here, but I think I pull this through. Yeah, so the, I look to pull this through and I'm gonna start attacking um, a triangle. I got a little tight there, so he's like, nah. I'm not gonna say what he actually said. I'm sure you can imagine. All right, and we roll. Mike and I talk a lot when we train, <laughs> so don't mind us. This is a good pass attempt. So here, I apologize if you guys can hear my dog. She hates my green screen. Otherwise, I'd let her in here, but she just, she like, it's scary to her. Um, so yeah drive my leg oh, this way okay and then you could back you can drive your knee here and back step with this leg and then look to fight my legs as you switch to a knee on belly situation i'm constantly fighting to keep mike between my knees right those fence that fence post idea where this leg extends the two the two knees and, and extend for infinity so as long as i keep them bracketed in between um I should be good to retain my guard. Um, hit a little X guard sweep. And I'm poking and prodding for a uh, hit ankle lock, but I'm able to expose the heel. We roll. And then I stop him from rolling here. I think he tries to put me in. I probably, I probably should have slid a little back, it looks like, on the heel. But I mean, it felt good. I was just being, I wasn't going to rip, obviously. Um, yeah, so I get to outside Ashi. I don't have anything to stop him yet, so I let him turn. And then here is where I reinforce here. And then I can drive my knee down, which stops him from being able to turn this way. It also stops him from being able to come out this way. And then I get my, make sure I get my hip off the ground. So I could start hipping into him, which we didn't have to get that far. So if you're going to try that pass, it's like the same pass I was trying. It's you got to You got to really like throw me to the side and throw this leg back. It's both right. So it's side and back. So you have to just create enough space to, so that knee can sneak in and get the pass. Little Nogi spider guard. Look at that. Uh, reverse triangle, yeah. Yeah, I do like the reverse triangle. Um, let's see. I'll, I'll comment on what I'm doing in a second. There's basically, oh, I probably lost it, to be honest. I think he was trying to reverse triangle me back, which is a thing. Yeah, no, I lost it. And then the Dars attempt into a north-south. Okay, fancy, fancy, fancy. Let's back it up. Okay, so spider guard. <laughs> Little Nogi spider guard. Um, I... I like I love using spider guard to set up the reverse triangle um, in the gi, obviously. Um, but you know, if I get a good bite, 
I'll use kind of like a half spider. So I have a, a, a leg across Mike's lap right now. And I drive the other hand away. And I look to get I look to get in that way. Yeah. So then I, I'm looking to isolate the arm. I pinch. I I walk I walk up, put him in the reverse triangle. Um, Mike knows what's up, so he immediately hides his hand, which is good. So it doesn't give me good access to his hand. So now I'm looking to actually transfer him all the way over. But Mike know, also knows what's up. If I'm able to get both legs on the other side of my body, I just sit up and squeeze and finish the reverse triangle. But Mike knew it was up there. Mike's trying to put me into a reverse triangle right now. I remember feeling that, and I'm just defending that, not letting him do that. And I realize this isn't going to happen. So I go to sit up, and you can see in this frame, um, my right arm, the, I, I, see, I see this opening. As I, as I start to turn up, I see this opening right here. And I'm going to go underneath and attempt the Dars. So I go underneath. I go to attempt the Dars. His arm is already in a good place to defend the Dars. I ideally want his arm on this side of my body, but it's on this side. So he turns to his back, which defends the Dars nicely. But that puts me right into the north-south choke. So I get here. I need to sink back. I connect my hands, or I'm trying to connect my hands. And I get the finish. Mike, what you want to do is when you're escaping the Dars to your best of your ability, I would keep, I would look to get this hand right in front of my face and keep turning towards my body to get yourself out of the choke. Okay. So Mike sits for guard, I pop up, and just quick body lock pass. Uh, Jeremy special on this side. Yeah, 100%. If, if I ever get this, if I ever get this, I'm, I'm going for a turnover Cam, uh, Kamara, which is, uh, I call it the Jeremy special after Mike Jeremy uh, black belt down at Henzo's. Um, I learned this from Gino, who learned it from Mike, or Donaher, I forget. You get the turnover, and this was me like actually doing it at speed. So I use I put all the weight on Mike, and I use that to get my legs light, so I could just pop right over right into the arm bar. From here, I'm looking to turn. Mike does a good job of um, not making sure my head doesn't get in. So I go to take the back, and I roll him all the way through, and then I put him into a back triangle, I believe. Or I should be trying to anyways. Yep. Looks like I do not have you in a back triangle. Um, I think I'm going to fall off. That's good. He got his knee in over my leg. So I could force the issue. Oh, yeah. Belly down. Notice I transfer the foot to the back of his head. Okay. Which is going to let me get um, breaking pressure. As I use this to unravel, oh nice, but he gets out. And then Mike starts fishing for my legs. I pummel a little bit, I come in. Um, I try to go to 50-50. Mike's trying to ankle lock me, but I think I'm fine. And I got the heel and the round ends. I think I got the heel because the round ends. For what it's worth, I think Mike's. I think yeah, the bell has rung, and I grab the heel because I'm a big jerk. All right, <laughs> fun round. Good job, Mike. Uh, always fun. Um, yeah, if you like, you know, if you enjoyed the video, please drop a like. Please subscribe. Um, get in touch with me if you'd like me to review one of your rounds. I'd be uh, honored to do so. Um, it'd be cool to watch and hopefully give you some insights at the very least, or at best. Um, you know, learn some new techniques, which would be very fun as well. All right. Thank you guys. Have a wonderful day.